Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this special episode. In today's video we not only gonna have a look why Bitcoin will reach 3.5 million one day but also in this video I'm gonna introduce you my updated indicator which I also gonna implement this update in this coming week if you are trading with my own indicator over on Discord. So I will update my own indicator in Discord uh, by next week. This is how it looks like. It also has a new name. It's called the Phoenix Force. With this indicator, we should be able to predict the next uh, steps of Bitcoin and of course also to do some nice juicy short-term trades with longing and shorting Bitcoin. Of course, mostly longs, but like this, of course, you can take as much gains as possible on the way up and also on the way down. So before we are going to this jam-packed episode where I'm also gonna show you why we should and could reach 3.5 million in the not so distant future per one Bitcoin. First, we are gonna have a short uh, weekly outlook for Bitcoin and Ethereum because we are hitting again new all time highs in Ethereum and also in Bitcoin. So I think during this week, we may be gonna see a little bit the price dumping around between 51 to $55,000 because currently here in the four hour time frame, as you can see, after this explosive breakout that we had yesterday and this top that we had at almost $57,000, right now we are getting a sell signal here in my own indicator. And also here now you can even see the RSI. So here the red line is the 50 level in the RSI. So whenever we are trading above, then we should be trading on the bullish side. And if we drop below, we are trading on the bearish side. So what we are seeing right now is, of course, the price a little bit overbought. And this sell signal now could indicate that we will come down at least to test the 9 or 20 moving average here between $54,000 and also $53,000. So if you're still looking for a good long opportunity over on Bybit or Femex then take advantage of this possible little pullback that we're seeing right now because in the next coming week I'm expecting continuation to the upside since we had a very very bullish weekly close here on the CMEs we closed exactly at 55,530 so we never had such a high weekly close on the CME so that's why I'm also pretty bullish here on the spot chart of course uh, whatever happens during the weekend but since now we have in here in the short term a little sell signal I'm pretty confident that we will come down at least to retest these two moving averages maybe even retest here these 52,000 to 50,000 before then we move on again towards 55,000 towards the end of the weekend as soon as the CMEs are gonna start again at 55,000 so take it as a good long and buy opportunity if we're gonna see this dip down towards these two moving averages just the four hour is telling us right now that we're most likely gonna retrace down here and then confirm it as a new support. Also in the Bollinger Bands, you can see that we are starting to close again four hour candles within the Bollinger Band. So usually then we always retrace back down towards the middle lines here between 54,000 and 53,000. We also had here the stochastic overbought and right now we are again shifted to the downside. So that's why I'm expecting here this pullback during this weekend. So take it as a good long and buy opportunity if you still look for a nice entry here because I'm expecting here to go higher at least towards $60,000 latest by next week. And if we go over into the daily time frame, here you can also see that currently we are still a bit overbought. And also here retracement back down towards a nine daily moving average, in my opinion, is still possible. Maybe even today or tomorrow that we could reach again this 50K area, but there we should have enough support and bounce again from the nine daily moving average, which currently is holding as a very strong support during this uptrend. Only a daily close below the nine daily moving average, especially in the next coming week, if we are dropping again below this moving average then this could indicate that we're gonna see a major correction at least down towards the 20 daily here at 45,000 or maybe even down here towards this previous resistance which now should be acting as a new support at 40k I don't think that is very likely but those are just the targets in case that we're starting to close daily candles again below the nine daily moving average but we should expect continuation to the upside 
And also something else that I want to show you here in my own indicator is that here now you can also see the money flow whenever it is in green and here above the zero line, then money is entering the market and the opposite once money flow is going into negative. So below the zero level, as you can see here, we are turning back into bearish. So that means that money is leaving the market and then it's turning into red. So this is also a very useful indicator that will be implemented here in my own indicator. And also you can see here this special customized trend line, this purple one here, which is showing you basically when it's good to take profits and when it's good to rebuy or start longing again. Because whenever we are here at the top, this is usually a good take profit or sell opportunity, at least for short term trades. And at the opposite side, if we're dropping again down to the zero level, this is always a good entry for a nice long position or to buy some more Bitcoin. So we're gonna have everything in just one indicator and this indicator is optimized for the three hour and 15 minutes time frame. So in the future in my own indicator, shout out to everyone that is trading with my own indicator on Discord, is able to see here the daily, the three hour and 15 minutes time frame. So for everyone that wants to join the live stream indicator, make sure to contact me here with a private message directly here on Discord because for a small donation only you can get access to it. But the chat itself is for free for everyone. So shout out to our great crypto trading chat. Make sure that you're joining our great crypto community over here. You can join it just by using this invitation link that you find down below here in the video description. Only use the official links that you find here in my video video description. So the outlook for Bitcoin for this weekend is a bit dumpy. I think we're gonna see this little retracement back down, but overall then we should recover towards Monday again as soon as we open up the CMEs. So if you still want to open up some longs or buy more Bitcoin before we're reaching 60K, then make sure to do it during this weekend. And if we go now over into the Ethereum chart, here you can see that we crossed here the $2,000 mark. We had here this week above 2,000, right here at $2,040. So congratulations to every Ethereum hodler and also every Ethereum miner like myself. I'm still mining a lot of Ethereum and I'm still building up new miners because I'm still very bullish here for the Ethereum price. And I'm expecting also here prices way above $2,000. So we should see also here continuation to the upside the four hour is still looking great we are bouncing from the nine moving average so far and if bitcoin is going to have a little retracement during the weekend probably all the ethereum will have a dive here towards this 1900 dollar area in the worst case maybe even down here towards $1,800 so also here take it as a good buy and long opportunity if you're trading ethereum and here also you can see the nine daily moving average right here at 1860 so all the ethereum if we're gonna see a drop here towards this price level we should have a nicely bounce here at least here at the nine daily moving average in the worst case down here at the 20 daily moving average at 1750 if you're looking for long and buy opportunities because all the ethereum in my opinion will moon very very soon so what we have seen so far could be just the beginning and if Bitcoin is able to reach 60k and even go higher then I'm pretty confident that Ethereum and also some other altcoins will catch up with this pump that we are seeing right now here in the Bitcoin price and now my friends let's go over to the most interesting chart for today we have to go over to the BLX ticker and what we are doing right now is first we're going to remove all these indicators that we don't need and we're going to open up these two specific indicators. First one is this one over here, the CT reverse P cycle Bitcoin top indicator from this guy here, the caretaker. So shout out to this guy. And the other indicator that you maybe also seen in the past is this one over here, the P cycle Bitcoin top indicator, which so far uh, yeah, also a big shout out to this guy Ninorigo. So shout out to this guy that made this indicator. So with these two indicators, we can do now two things. First, we can estimate maybe where we're gonna top out in the Bitcoin price. And the second thing is also where Bitcoin might go in the not so distant future. So I'm talking about the long term, like the next cycles where we could be topping out maybe, or at least what prices we should be keeping an eye on. 
because these two indicators are very powerful to predict possible cycle tops and also where maybe Bitcoin is gonna head to next, even in the next couple of cycles that we're gonna see in the next coming five to 10 years. So what we're gonna do right now, before we're gonna have a look at the actual price action, we are going now back in time with these two indicators. So we're gonna go now towards 2009 so basically since its inception so let's go back here in 2009 when bitcoin had reached a value of around five cents then we started here of course this parabolic rise up towards 30 dollars and this is where these indicators started to have significance at least here what they are telling us right now because you can see here this couple of moving averages here this should be the 111 daily moving average i think and that one the green one over here should be like the 350 daily moving average or something like that it is not very important that we understand how they work but it is important to understand what they are telling us because here in this cycle from 2011 until 2013 when we had a top here at around 200 dollar you can see that this indicator here was trading above the price here way above the price and usually when this moving average here is way above the price we should see bitcoin go sideways or rise up slowly until it's reaching these parabolic moves here and then this moving average is crashing down towards the price this is usually where we always see the market tops at least here the first time in 2013 you can see as soon as this moving average crashed below here into the price action this was let's say our top we had a couple of days more where we continued the pump but then we finally topped out here and we started here this little bear market that took us back down towards $60 from this top that we had here at around $200 and the interesting thing here is that if you measure here where this line was trading at up here you can see that it was here between $800 and $2,700 so if we go now into the future here, so if we go over into the next cycle top of around $1,300 here, we had exactly the same thing again. We had here this crash of this moving average down here into the price and that also signaled a cycle top. This now has nothing much to do with these two price levels. We just came between these two lines and like that also we topped out and then we started again a bear market here from 2013 until 2017. So during all this time you can see that this moving average came back up here and traded here between $62,000 and here this $222,000 line. So what we are seeing right now is that during this period of time of 2013 to 2017 this moving average was trading here between these two important price levels 62,000 and also 222,000 and now you know where I want to go with these two important price levels exactly right to the price action that we're seeing right now because you can see that Bitcoin is now reaching here this first price level where we had this moving average trading here during this bear market of 2013 to 2017 so we are reaching now the bottom of this moving average this $60,000 area and that's why this 60k it is a very very important and significant price level where we might could see a local top at least for now before we're gonna have another pullback another bigger correction down towards important supports that are lining up between twenty thousand to forty thousand dollar if here we're gonna see a big rejection so that's why this 60k area is a very very important and strong possible resistance point so here is where we're gonna have to decide if we are able to break through and go straight towards $100,000 and there maybe have a possible blow off top or something like that and then start a major correction or if we already get right now here at 60k a possible local top then a pullback and then continuation to the upside.
because the interesting thing here is that we have now this moving average right up here at around $850,000. So the bottom is here at around $850,000 and you can see that this moving average is coming very dangerously right here to this important support. If we're gonna drop here below and this moving average is again crossing the price that we have right now or where the price will be once it's gonna crash below here, then this could signal a possible cycle top at least for now before we have a bigger correction and then move on towards higher levels. So if this is going to happen, my friends, I think this could lead into a possible bigger correction and also this could tell us that we are about to top out at least for now and we're gonna have then a healthy bigger correction to wash out all the weak hands and then we can accumulate again more Bitcoin once this correction is over. So what we are seeing right now is that we are in a very dangerous zone, my friends. We are about to have a possible crash here in this moving average to the downside into the price action that we have right now. And in the past, this always signaled a cycle top, at least a big local top where then we had a major correction. And then of course you had again chances to buy back in into important supports that we had during the rise up. So in my opinion, it would be between 20 to forty thousand dollar this price range to accumulate more bitcoin if somewhere here we're gonna see this possible sell signal here this possible local top and then start a major correction and of course another important metric is here these two moving averages over here the 350 and 111 daily moving average as soon as they are crossing usually also these signals a market top so you always see these two things happen at the same time as soon as this orange daily moving average is crossing above the, this green one, then always at the same time we are seeing also this moving average over here crashing down into the price and these two indicators together combined always signaled a possible local top before a major correction or maybe even an upcoming bear market like we have seen after 2013 and also 2017. So with these two indicators, I'm not only showing you right now that we could be very close to a local top here and then start a major correction, but also I want to show you that this moving average up here that was always far away from this price action was always a good indication to where Bitcoin could be heading to next and also what prices are significant for the long term in the Bitcoin price because this $800 that we had here, this bottom signaled more or less the top that we had in the next cycle and also this $2,700 signaled also here resistance and later on support area once we had here this top in 2017. So these two price levels up here maybe if you were here in the early stages of Bitcoin you would have thought that oh my god those prices over here we will never reach but at the end Bitcoin reached these price levels and they had a lot of significance for the long term. Same thing goes here. Here we are right now at $60,000 where the price is trading right now and here the top is at $200 $20 where potentially we could have a cycle top during this year or next year because we know that Bitcoin will go above $100,000. The question is only where are we going to top out before starting another bear market until the next halving and then start all over again. So also this price level over here at $222,000 I think has a lot of significance for these upcoming parabolic pumps that we're gonna see here in the Bitcoin price in the next coming weeks and months. So also during this bear market here between 2013 and 2017 you would never have thought that Bitcoin will go here to $60,000 or $220,000 but this is what is happening right now in this cycle and now look at this the bottom of this indicator right now is here at $850,000 and look where the top is at right now three million and five hundred thousand dollar at this moment of time you will think maybe that it is impossible that bitcoin is going to eight hundred fifty thousand or to three and a half million dollar but this is exactly the same way how everyone was thinking here at those stages back here when bitcoin was trading way below twenty thousand dollar 
So based here on this indicator, it is very likely that we're going to reach here 850,000 or three and a half million per Bitcoin, maybe within the next cycle after the next halving of Bitcoin, which is probably going to take action in 2024. So based on this indicator, my friends, it is possible that Bitcoin one day will go to three million and five hundred thousand dollar and this eight hundred fifty thousand dollar will be the new 60K that we are having right now. So if you buy and think for the long term, buy as much Bitcoin as possible at any price. But of course, if you want to try to sell the tops and rebuy back in in bear markets, then of course you also should keep an eye on where we potentially going to have local tops and then start bigger corrections to accumulate more Bitcoin. And that's why I'm telling you, my friends, that we could be very, very close to such a possible cycle top where then we're going to start another bigger correction or maybe even a small bear market and then gear up again to break the 60K and potentially go towards 200 $22,000, which in my opinion are very easily to get reached with these parabolic times that we're seeing right now. You will never see the price going straight up in a straight line here. Although in the past, we always had pullbacks here. And that's why you should always take it as a good buy opportunity and never go and panic sell. You can take profits at any time when we are going parabolic. If you need that cash or if you see a better investment or anything like that, but you should never go and panic sell because always with these pullbacks if you would have bought in in every pullback doesn't matter when in the long term you would always had a lot of profits and always would do a lot of gains and here based on these indicators you can see that we are still at the beginning of a major long-term rally towards three and a half million so this video is not clickbait, my friends. This is just what the charts are telling us, especially with these two powerful indicators. And that's why I'm still keep telling you, my friends, even at $50,000, Bitcoin is still cheap. It has limited supply. No one can take it away from you. There is no other asset that can compete with Bitcoin. And that's why it should be also worth way, way more than what we are seeing right now. We are still in the beginning stage and that's why we have a lot of famous people and institutions now slowly waking up and realize that Bitcoin is such a great thing that at the end, it really doesn't matter how much value it has in terms of dollars or euro or Swiss franc or whatever. It's only about the financial freedom, the strong community behind Bitcoin. No one can take it away from you. And it's limited supply by mathematics. So there is no person or institution behind it that can just issue new Bitcoins. We have limited supply. So this is what makes Bitcoin so great and way better than any kind of other assets that we have seen so far in this world. And as soon as everyone is going to realize that same as we're seeing right now, a lot of famous people and institution realizing that the price will be so high that it's not any more relevant how much it will be because with one Bitcoin, you can do everything you want in the future and you don't even have to mess around to convert it into any kind of fiat currency. And as soon as this happens, you will see people that will be forced to buy Bitcoin wherever the price will be because they will most likely don't have any other way to keep their buying power alive because all fiat currencies are going to zero at some point and you definitely don't want to see your hard earned money going down to zero. That's why you have to put it somewhere where you know that in 10 years it will be worth the same or even more. And the only asset that can do that and it's also future proofed is Bitcoin. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video is not clickbait for you. I hope that you learned something new today and also see the potential of Bitcoin. So if you like the content, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And check out also all the links down below here in the video description. If you need a Bybit account, Binance account and so on with my referral links, you will get some extra money so you can buy even more cryptos and do some free trades. And if you're completely new in the crypto market, check out Swissborg, Binance 
and Coinbase with my referrals you also get more money and more cryptos by using my referral links if you need an account use my referral links and also another big shout out to our great crypto trading chat join it it's completely for free link is down below in the video description and if you want to get access to my own indicator make sure to contact me straight over with a private message in discord thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye